Jägermeisters, I'm Funky Monkey, and we've come to it at last. The main event of the Robot Rumble, <laughs> and what a main event it is, as giant monsters from beyond the stars battle giant robots from all across the shores of the Pacific. It's a ginormous battle of massive mechs and monsters from the shores of California all the way down to the beaches of Sydney, with the chaotic climax that is our main event. Guillermo del Toro's instant classic, Pacific Rim. Released in 2013, Pacific Rim is that rarest of things. A genuine giant robot versus giant monster movie. A hostile alien force is relentlessly sending giant monsters through a wormhole, somewhere under the Pacific Ocean. And in response, Man built giant robots to fight them, which worked for a while. When we pick up the story, it's starting to not work. Receiving generally positive reviews, this movie would seem to be a titanic tale, towering over our very own Robot Rumble. The home team had their work cut out with this one, so let's get ready to Robot Rumble with our main event, Pacific Rim. Meet our big damn heroes, the Beckets. And their Jaeger, Gypsy Danger. Their mission is to eliminate a knife-headed Kaiju and not worry about the small fishing boat in their way. Now, for the uninitiated, Jaegers are our heroes, the giant robots, and Kaijus are our villains, the giant monsters. Odd mix of terminology, German and Japanese, but hey, whatever works. But our heroes figure they can save both humanity and the boat. Unfortunately, this kaiju is a tough giant monster. And worse, it carves through Gypsy Danger's hull, taking out Yancey Beckett. Oh! But even with a single pilot, Gypsy Danger manages to save the day. And make it to shore, though it's in no fighting state. And all of this, even before the opening titles. Cut to five years later. Raleigh Beckett, the surviving brother, is working on a coastal wall project. Enter Marshall Stacker Pentecost with one last job. Where would you rather die? Here? Or in a Jaeger? <laughs> Some choice. Die fighting or surrender your life on a work site. Although, I would pick my hour as a tiger over a lifetime as a worm. And as we enter the Shatterdome, we meet the other players in this drama. Dr. Gottlieb outlines the metaphysics of the attack, but Newton Geisler has a biological imperative. Yes, friends. Newt is crazy enough to want to drift with a kaiju's frontal lobe. <laughs> the stone's on him. Pity Marshall Pentecost won't hear of it, and he has to construct his own neural bridge out of spare parts. None of which matters to Raleigh, as he tests potential co-pilots, but nobody matches up. Until... How about we give her a shot? And so, Raleigh and Mako square off. Now, I would show you more of this fight, but YouTube. Oh, YouTube. How you restrain me. Newt Geisler drifts with a small segment of Kaiju Brain. But it's still enough to cause some damage from the neural load. These masters. They're colonists. You see, Newt theorizes that the Kaiju are being sent under orders to clear out humanity 
so that another race, the Kaiju's masters, can colonise the Earth. Kind of puts me in mind of the spacemen from the third planet of the black hole in the Showa era Godzilla movies. Back at Gypsy's neural test, our heroes prepare to sync up. But a random blip from Raleigh sends Mako down a rabbit hole. And into a very blue memory. What do you mean you've never seen those movies? Yeah, bunch of Philistines. Marshall Pentecost debriefs our pair. And at mealtime, Raleigh and Mako bond further. And then two kaijus appear. And Crimson Typhoon and Cherno Alpha are sent against them. Which goes about as well as you'd expect. Battle not with giant monsters, lest ye become a giant monster. Okay, so it's not that adaptable. Let's just move on. And while Striker Eureka manages to hold his own, its digital connections are vulnerable to EMP. A bio EMP? Oh well, that's just cheating. Enter Gypsy Danger, the analog Jaeger. And down goes Leatherback. But this is a double event, so there's still Otachi to take out yet. It's a right royal rumble in the streets and the skies. And Gypsy lands safely. Well, any landing you can walk away from, you know. But oh dear, Otachi was pregnant. Luckily for Newt, the infant is strangled on its own umbilical cord. And so Dr. Gottlieb reaches his counterpart. And the two drift with the living kaiju brain. Back at the Shatterdome, Marshall Pentecost steps in for an injured Herc Hansen to co-pilot Striker Eureka. Today we are cancelling the apocalypse! Yeah, cancel the apocalypse and replace it with the atheist global reboot. And the mission is on. But there's a triple event with a Category 5 to contend with. It's all too much for Striker Eureka, which blows its payload to clear a path for Gypsy Danger, the nuclear-powered Jaeger. And despite the Kaiju's best efforts, Gypsy breaches the wormhole and sets up these aliens the bomb. And so our movie ends with our heroes being rescued from the surface of the ocean. So that was Pacific Rim. And in the battle of the Jaegers versus the Robot Rumble, it's an absolute mismatch as the Jaegers crush the Robot Rumble in scant seconds. This is the big dumb action movie by the big crazy Mexican master of monsters. And by the robot masters themselves, it is glorious! The plot is slightly hampered by needing to be set up, but the opening setup acquits itself well. From there, giant robots, giant monsters, giant personalities. And let's talk about these characters. Mako Mori, the strong female character, done right. Raleigh Beckett, and his arc from overexcited cocky ace pilot to grizzled ex-pilot to a rock-solid co-pilot. And let's not forget the excellently named characters in this. Stacker Pentecost, Hercules Hansen, Hannibal freaking Chow. And all of these characters would fall one-dimensionally flat were it not for the performances. Every role in this movie is acted beautifully. The pathos of Charlie Hunnam, the steely yet vulnerable eyes of Rinko Kikuchi, the clear gleeful ham of Idris Elba, the counterpoint of a motormouth Charlie Day and a QS despairing Burn Gorman. And even a well-acted giant robot movie can sink or swim on its effects, which aren't necessarily CG, but the Kaiju and the Jaegers are well designed and, for what we see of them, look beautiful. Though, if I had to find fault, I would mention that this movie is loud, and a lot of these scenes are in darkness and the ADHD neural handshake sequences do take some getting used to. But mostly I'm nitpicking, 
Because for me, Pacific Rim is pretty much a perfect movie. But the robot rumble doesn't end here, fight fans. We may yet return to the subject of giant robots, or robots in general, battling for supremacy. For now though, this is Review Unit Funky Monkey wishing you good health, long life, and good entertainment. End of line. Join the heroic legion of Patreon subscribers today! You could get your name in the credits, early access to new episodes, request your favourite game, movie or anime to be reviewed, or even be in the show yourself! Sign up at my Patreon site! I'll see you there!